most of our products will start with a problem or a frustration. And that's all done in our new product innovations team. So Dyson 9, which is part of our campus expansion, is where all of our NPI and our research teams are focused. They'll start by working out what the problem is. They'll go through as many different ways as they could think of of solving that problem. And they'll develop them to a point where they think, yeah, this, this concept looks good. I think we can do something with this concept. On something new, like Supersonic, it can take up to four years. You've probably seen a lot of the um, prototypes we did of Supersonic. So we, we went through eight, nine, ten different iterations. So each iteration will look different, it will work slightly differently. But each time it fails, we'll learn from how it's failed, we'll improve that, and then we'll, we'll make it better the next time. Going into a new category, we wanted to pull on our reputation within you know, our floor care, our environmental control and our commercial products as well. We came across a lot of the problems that people encounter, you know, the rate at which hair dries or over drying your hair or under drying your hair. The shaping of the product and with bore through the middle um, means we can use our air multiplication technology and what that does is it turns our 13 litres a second into an overall flow of over 40 litres a second. So it means we can, once we can heat that air up, we can get a, an excellent dry rate. And we noticed through development that we, we had 11 blades on, on the impeller itself. So, and, you know, it's going around 110,000 times a minute. What our engineers decided was that if we added two more blades into that impeller, it would push a lot of the annoying tones beyond the audible range, which means we actually have a very quiet product. I mean, you can talk over the products. The Supersonic is quite, it's quite a good example. It's one of the later, latest products where acoustic was really one of the key features right from the start. The usual silencing acoustic approach would be to put a lot of foam everywhere. That's the easiest way. But the problem becomes that space is at premium. So usually it's a better idea to just design things quiet from the start, have a layer that's fundamentally quieter. For example, in the Supersonic, you have a motor inside the handle which means that it's not jetting air and noise straight at your face. So having this different layout fundamentally means the product will naturally be quiet. Here instead we work completely different frequency range. We work with electromagnetic waves instead of uh, uh, acoustic waves. And this chamber allows you to, to take measurement to measure, for example, the spectrum of the product without any ambient noise. So everything that is generated by the product is measured by the antenna only and not reflected by, by the walls. For most of, our, of the approvals we, we can actually uh, do the certification job here. So these are the main targets for protecting the radio spectrum and making sure our product is reliable in, a, in the intended electromagnetic environment. Our history is built in airflow and motors and temperature. So we have the expertise and we have the, um, the people here to do certain things, which is why a lot of our products tend to follow a particular trend. It's not that we set out to do them, it's just that that's the people we have here are very good at those particular areas. But nothing's off limits.